We are officially in the dark of the moon because a new moon in Capricorn is tomorrow. And the dark of the moon is the three-day period around the new moon. Not only is it dark at night, but it's also a wonderful three-day opportunity to work any magic or manifestations that you wish. The theme of this new moon, because it's Capricorn, is all about long-term goals. New moons are an awesome time to plant seeds, get clear about your vision, and get clear about not only what you want, but why do you want it. Capricorn reminds us that long-term goals are achieved one step at a time. As we all know, New Year's resolutions don't usually stick because we have lots of motivation in the beginning, but then that motivation wanes. Today's energy, the energy of momentum, I brought out the car because it's easy to understand if we're driving a car. Once we get going, if we need to stop, it is going to take us a minute. Be mindful of your momentum today. It's the kind of thing where if you get rolling with a bad mood, maybe you stub your toe, maybe you spill your coffee, one thing could lead to another and it will just keep going. Give yourself some grace and if you find that you're really just not headed in the right direction today or you're just not happy about where you're at or how you're feeling, think about momentum and see what you can do to shift your energy or your direction. Music really helps. I love music for being able to shift a vibe. Let's pull a card for today as we think about new beginnings, long-term long goals, and energetic momentum. Ooh, I accidentally pulled two cards, but that's okay. The Ace of Cups represents a new beginning when it comes to our heart space. We see an overflowing cup held by a hand coming out of a cloud and lots of symbolism in, uh, indicating that spirit is coming through. What this card represents is a new beginning for our heart space, and sometimes that comes when we've been cracked open. The Ten of Pentacles is about the feeling of completion. Sometimes everything can look perfect on the outside. Maybe it looks like we have the perfect job or the perfect relationship, but looks can be deceiving. How we feel on the inside is honestly the most important thing in the whole wide world. As anybody can tell you, some things just aren't worth it. So what we've got here is a juxtaposition of priorities. An open heart, flowing emotions, a sense of uh, perhaps channeling our God-given gifts or feeling like we are divinely guided. Um, really, really, really intensely powerful vibes. And then the Ten of Pentacles is about what does that look like in the third dimensional reality. I invite you to reflect on new beginnings, long-term goals, stability, momentum, and how do you feel about where you're going. My name's Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. You can book a private reading with me at www.queenbeetarot.net. I hope you have a fantastic day. Blessed be.